It has been a nice primary day here across the area, and it looks like it will be pretty nice as we head into the evening hours as well. Once again, we have a few high clouds moving in from the west, but this is moisture starved. There's not a lot of moisture at the surface, so we're just not going to see much in the way of any significant precipitation here over the next few days. And temperatures are looking nice. We're in the 70s Wednesday through Sunday, the way it looks right now. Then we'll drop off as we head into Monday and Tuesday of next week. That's when our next cold front will arrive across the area. But in the meantime, just some passing high clouds as we make our way through the overnight hours tonight, probably clearing out as we head towards 7 o'clock Wednesday morning. By Wednesday afternoon, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies across the area. Again, a few high clouds here and there. Same can be said as we move into Thursday as well. But just not a lot going on here across the region for the rest of this week. So enjoy the really nice weather we're going to have on tap for us as we head through the next couple of days. So let's check out what we are tracking for you tonight. Temperatures falling down into the lower 40s. Could be a couple of upper 30s as well. But overall, it's looking chilly in the morning, but look at this by the afternoon. Highs in the low to mid 70s, warmest conditions along and west of I-35, so we are looking really nice as we head into your Wednesday and beyond, as I showed you earlier. Looks like those highs will stay into the 70s. Lows at night will be coming up. 43 Thursday morning, 50s for lows on Friday morning, and maybe even near 60 as we head into the weekend. There will be a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms late Sunday. We're talking late afternoon into the evening hours as a cold front gets closer to the area. Right now, the severe weather chance is rather low. Then Monday and Tuesday, we're behind the front, maybe a few showers around and temperatures falling into the upper 50s and lower 60s. Then as we head into the end of next week, looks like we'll start to warm up before our next front arrives by the end of next week.